Eric, uh, first uh, big uh, come from behind win at Quinnipiac. Can you just talk about the team's effort today? Yeah, you know, we, we started off really strong in the beginning of the game. We kind of got relaxed and let them back in the game. Then they blew open the game in the beginning of the second half. And I guess uh, Coach Moore was just like, you know, go out there and make plays. And we back. back. And, um, you know, it was a hell of a win. What what were y'all saying to each other when you were down 13? You know, early? just we, we can score really good. We, we have so many uh, weapons on offense. So we weren't wor really worried about who's going to get going eventually. We knew eventually we are going to get going. All we had to do was worry about getting stops, getting stops, and we'll be fine. And then uh, speaking of getting going on the offensive end, a lot of that's been due to the three-pointer. Today, that wasn't uh, – y'all weren't making those shots, but y'all were able to have success getting to the rim. Can you just talk about – changing your instinct from shooting threes to getting to the rim. Oh, yeah, because uh, the coaches saw the adjustment that a lot of times they weren't switching guard to guard. So we s screened with guards for most of the second half, and that allowed us to get open. And they made it a, a big point of emphasis at halftime that like we got to start attacking, especially now the shots aren't falling. And they're real lazy getting over screens and stuff like that, so to start being more aggressive at the basket. And then uh, for you personally, your first career double-double with the career high, 10 rebounds. Can you talk about getting that first double-double and what that means to you? Um, a lot of times it seemed like the ball would just fall in my hands, you know. I was just trying to get in there as much as possible, try to create some loose balls. But luckily, I was able to grab onto them. A lot of offensive rebounds got extra chances for my teammates. And, um, you know, just being aggressive, attacking the rim, uh, going after the ball, uh, that's something I kind of straight away from since I came to college, but I'm looking to get more back into that, especially like just try to do all the little things so I can stay on the court. <laughs> and then uh, speaking of rebounds, Quinnipiac, uh, one of the top rebounding teams in the nation, y'all pretty much led the whole game until they missed some free throws at the end. Can you talk about what y'all were doing defensively and offensively to get those rebounds? Oh, we knew we knew McLean was the high hand. Um, just making it harder for him. Let him let him go one on one and take everyone out of the game because we can stop a guy individually. But um, if the other guys aren't involved, it's a lot easier for us to just like you know focus on one guy and we force him to take a lot of bad shots. We force them to take a lot of bad shots, and then at the end we boxed out and we were able to come up with a lot of like really good defensive rebounds. And then uh, finally, what does a come from behind win like this mean, especially coming on the road? And how do you keep the momentum going? Just try to battle every game. You know, feel how feel how good it feels to win like once in a while. So you know, keep this <laughs> keep this momentum going. You know, we got a uh, two tough games coming up, and like I think before last year when we came after like a road trip, we we came out a lot of real like relaxed and nonchalant but I feel like now we're coming out strong trying to get a win because you know we're trying to do this for like our seniors John and Nate now but maybe Justin I don't know but um yeah we're just trying to do it for our seniors try to help them go out with it all right thanks Eric and congrats